Welcome back to another episode of the GC Informer. I am Snowy, otherwise known as Count Fracula, back from my holiday, but oh my god, I'm tired. Got a juicy story for you today, though. I'm just gonna, firstly, though, say that there's little whispering rumours, in fact, they're not rumours, it's true, that Alex Maurer has violated her, di her uh, settlement with, um, oh, what's the name of the company? The ones that made Star Maze a DSP, and she's done some DMCA strikes against about six videos, so might hear more about that in the coming days. However, I'm going to talk today about Bluehole, the, the company that publish PUBG. And we already knew they were a bit of a shitty company, bunch of assholes, and they've gone one step further by suing a an imitator, let's say that might be the best term. It's, it's a game that's come out and it's sort of a bit like PUBG. The lawsuit was filed against NetEase, the publishers of a game called Knives Out and another called Rules of Survival, both of which are very PUBG-esque. And uh, this is a Chinese-based company, PUBG's Blue Hole are a Korean-based company, but in the 155-page document which I will link in the description for your perusal because I am not putting graphics up on screen. I'm not searching through that document to find it. You can do that yourselves. Um, the highlights are that PUBG are claiming the following things uh, warrant a trademark and or copyright violation. They claim that the use of a frying pan as a melee weapon within the game is against copyright because uh, PUBG uses a frying pan, and in, in fact in the document they quote it's an iconic frying pan. This is of course the Jim Sterling's Ubisoft definition of iconic, certainly not the actual definition of iconic. This one is bullshit because one, they claim it was not used in any previous shooter or game. That is not true because Team Fortress 2 had a frying pan, so might want to sue Valve if you're getting along with that lines, and we know how well that went for companies like Digital Homicide, remember? Not going to go well there, is it? Also, a frying pan is a common, um, like, a common household thing. It's not a thing that you've invented, it's not your copyright. That's not how these things work, but anyway, let's move on. The second thing is a gun within one of the games that looks very much like a gun that is used within PUBG. Both of these guns, however, look very much like a real-life AR-15 rifle. And let me think, might it be, might it just be, that because you originally, PUBG, were an armor mod, you got your idea for that from armor, and might it be that either this Chinese company did the same, or did they take inspiration from the real life already existing gun? You have no proof that they stole your particular generic looking rifle. Moving on to count the third, the phrase winner winner chicken dinner. A common law phrase I might add in common use throughout probably mostly Britain, I don't think it's very common in other countries until PUBG became popular. But yeah, it's a pretty common phrase, and the use of a particular rubber chicken, I think it's a hold weapon, like it's either a melee weapon or it's just a sort of passive buff item, it makes you quicker as you hold it, I think it's also used as a melee weapon within the game, apparently that is violating the trademark, I think that was used as the trademark violation because of the winner, winner chicken didn't, what? Are, are, are you serious? YouTubers! YouTubers are apparently a reason that this uh, company deserves suing because YouTubers used clickbaity titles such as PUBG on mobile because at the time it wasn't available on mobile or similar things like that to refer to these other games and not PUBG and apparently that is somehow the developers or the publishers of this game's fault and that they should be sued for YouTubers putting titles into a video. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. If I made a video on Gamecast saying, hey, look at this Coke, and showed a can of Pepsi, 
That does not mean that Coca-Cola could sue Pepsi. It's not how this works. That isn't, that's not law. That's just idiocy. The plain drop is apparently now a thing that is entirely owned by PUBG. Did you know that? I didn't know that. To be honest, I thought it was the, uh, the domain of well, lots of other games that have used a plain drop at the start of a game. Maybe think of basically any shooter from the last decade, like any sort of mil military shooter. They had some sort of plain drop in them. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a fairly decent way to get across the map. And to be honest, I think it was done a long time before PUBG came along. I vaguely remember a game that had it in. Um, you know, just fuck off. Pre-game lobbies are also apparently a thing that weren't invented before PUBG. I might want to tell Psyonix that with Rocket League, where you can get into a pre-game sort of um, lobby where you can't score or anything because, you know, you're moving around the... Uh, moving around the field with no colours because not enough players have been assigned yet. Or, let's go back to another example, Team Fortress 2, because that game, a very old game I might add, had that in it. So, no, Blue Hole, you don't own the concept of a pre-game lobby and they, you can't sue them for it. No, that's silly. And now two more things that are pretty much just sort of covered by the fact that they're basically a common thing the idea of having shipping containers and warehouses, amongst other things, in your game. Not only do the articles that PUBG developers put forward not even vaguely resemble the other set that they're accusing of copying them in any way, shape or form, other than the fact that they are a shipping container and a warehouse, stylistically, and in fact in a lot of very like obvious aesthetic ways, they're very different. That's not how this works. You're gonna have to sue every game that's ever used a warehouse or a shipping container. Good fucking luck with that, because you're gonna have to sue the whole fucking industry. And finally, another reason you'll have to sue almost all the fucking games industry, the, the style of map being used in the game. Now, they're specifically referring to the mini-map. I think if they're referring to the actual design of the map, they look nothing alike. They just, you know, they're an island surrounded by water. And I can think of quite a lot of games that have done that. But if it's the style of mini-map you use when you're looking at the map to see where you are on it, it's a sort of topographical map. And, um, yeah, no, I don't think you own the copyright to that either. I'm gonna be honest, I think that was invented before video games. I don't think that you own that. No. Shut up. Go away, blue hole are a piece of shit, and that's basically the end of the news. I hope you enjoyed this news. If you did, like, subscribe, or share whatever you fancy. Our social links are down in the description with a link to our Discord to join in some public chat with us. Probably get a bit more extra salt from me, and stay tuned to our broadcast, which happens on 12 p.m. CST where we broadcast all of our upcoming content for the week, bar the news, and it's just a lovely experience where you can join in some chat with, uh, with us and with other people on the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat, and it's a really nice little thing. So stay tuned for that, and otherwise I'll see you soon for more news.